Hi Pisces, thank you for being here with me. We're going to do your reading and we'll find out what messages spirits have for you. Just going to get some sage going here. Sage burning good. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to shuffle the cards three times. What's happening with Pisces spirits? Okay. Pisces. What's happening with Pisces spirits? First thing we have is the King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning. The Ace of Wands. An exciting new beginning. We have the Page of Wands. I'm seeing exciting. Some type of news coming in. That's going to make you very happy. It, it starts a whole new journey for you Pisces. Something some type of new adventure and then we have the queen of pentacles so this could have something to do with your money there could be a legal matter here and the center card of your reading is the magician this is something that you've manifested something that you're bringing in wow look at this again the page of wands it it's something that allows you to open up a new door, walk down a new path. What's happening with Pisces? The death card is here. This is Scorpio energy. This is really exciting, Pisces. Because there's one door closing. Something's coming to an end and there's a brand new door opening for you. Ten of Cups. This is something that you've manifested, something that you want, that brings a lot of happiness. And then we have the Two of Wands here. Yeah, it's, it's standing at a crossroads deciding which way you want to go next. So this is definitely something that opens up a lot of new doors for you, Pisces, and it's something that you've manifested in. So let's clarify and find out what this is. Okay, we're going to start with this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Okay, hold on. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here? It's it's a decision being made, Pisces, that brings you into this Ten of Cups. It's a lot of happiness. I'll make sure you can see these cards. This is happy home. It it's emotional fulfillment. Okay. 
Okay, so you could be dealing with another Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. When I look at the bottom of the deck here, I we have the Two of Swords, so... It's a decision that's been delayed, something um, something that you've been feeling blindfolded to. When is this going to happen? Um, there's been sadness and confusion here in your energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, but we have the Three of Swords and the King of Cups. There's something here showing up in your energy where there, there's a lot of love here for home and family. And you feel like you're on shaky ground. You're staying in control of your emotions even though you're feeling heartbreak with the Three of Swords. There's heartbreak and pain here. Everything looks beautiful. But we have this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Okay, that's, there's a soulmate connection that has caused you pain. But out of this pain, I'm seeing you're, you're feeling guarded up here with the Seven of Wands. There was a soulmate connection here, someone that put you in a three-party situation that caused you a lot of heartbreak and pain, but you made a decision that you're finding your happiness, and you're staying in control of your emotions, you're keeping this to yourself. But then I see something happening. Let me be clear here. What I'm seeing right here is you have made a decision, Pisces, to find your happiness. And the underlying energy here is I feel like you are feeling happy. You're staying in control of your emotions. But there's a soulmate connection here. Whether this is a, a person, this third party, or whatever this third party is. It, I feel like it's a person because I'm seeing that this is a soulmate connection for some of you. You're staying in control of your emotions. You're not wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're not. You're keeping this to yourself. Okay, and then I'm seeing a brand new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, so this brand new beginning that is showing up in your past energy here, um, there is, here's you making a head over heart decision. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy that you're, you're bringing in a fiery brand new beginning for yourself. And I see you here being single um, and reaping your rewards, enjoying the rewards of your fruits, the fruits of your labor. I'm sorry, Pisces. Um, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor here, being single and being very logical with the Queen of Swords energy. But there's still the energy of holding on to someone here. Someone that was being selfish, someone that was being in their ego, someone that caused a lot of pain. There's still this energy of 
this person coming into your mind. It's a soul connection and hard to release. And then we have the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Queen of Swords. Seven of Cups. Okay, so we have the devil on the bottom of the deck. This is Capricorn energy. <coughs> I feel like for some of you, there's an age difference here. This soulmate connection is still showing up here in your energy. This is someone that could have traveled back to an ex. The queen of swords can be an ex. But I'm seeing you making a logical decision once again to move into calmer water, thinking with your mind and um, making very logical decisions here and moving on. Because there's a whole bunch of options in front of you, a whole bunch of choices. There's no need to feel stuck and hold on to this like you were doing in the past. I'm seeing you holding on to this. You could still be doing this. It's hard to release. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Pisces. I'm seeing you will be, if you're not already, I feel like a lot of you are already, just feeling comfortable here. Money is good. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? You're ready to cut that last thread of whatever you've been holding on to. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. The Hierophant, look at this, the Hierophant twice coming out together. There's a committed relationship here that is coming through, is coming to an, an end completely. It's something that has been dwelling on your mind. I feel like it's already been over, but it kind of, there's an energy here of holding on to it. Like it sticks in your mind. It's hanging on by a thread and I'm seeing you cutting this last thread and choosing to walk in a different door. And this is someone that you were probably married to or you had some type of commitment with this person. But this other door that you're walking through, it could be um, something spiritual, but it's a higher level of commitment that you're working on here. But there's one more thread you need to cut. And then we have the Magician. Why is the Magician here? What are you manifesting, Pisces? Because your, your energy is very powerful in this reading. The Five of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. Wow, look at that. Three Fives. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands. You're in a very fiery, beautiful energy of the Queen of Wands, male or female, ready to get things done, excited about the future. Um, but there's, there's this energy of being closed off here, Pisces. There's something about you where there's closed off and you're not making a decision. Look at this. We have three fives. The fives in tarot, this is conflict.
you are you're going through a, a rebirth Pisces there's spiritual energy here the Hierophant and the magician so you're making things happen whatever you're manifesting is coming into life if it hasn't already and um You are, where I told you there's something here in your energy that's holding on by a thread with the death card. It's a feeling of, there could be a feeling here of feeling lack of money, feeling left out in the cold. There could be this soulmate connection could have ghosted you, left you feeling out in the cold. Um... You are manifesting this energy to leave you. Someone who was in their ego. I'm seeing this person down on their knees now. Feeling a lot of sadness and regret for their manipulations. They were being very manipulative. Probably um, wearing a false mask. I feel like this person showed two sides of themselves. So it's almost like you have to grieve two people instead of just one. Because when we start up here, and there's no gender in tarot, I'm seeing someone who is very cold at times and then very loving and giving. If This person had two sides to them. Okay, so... You're leaving this energy out in the cold, Pisces. I can see it right here. You're manifesting this because you do want a higher level of commitment. You're you're going through a rebirth. And then we have the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Empress, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Wow, we have the Six of Wands twice, Pisces. This is you crossing that finish line after a long battle, victory. There's a new journey that you're starting on here with the Page of Wands. This is a brand new journey. It's very exciting. And you you are manifesting something here where you, you're crossing over a finish line. The Empress is a lot of growth. Tremendous amounts of growth coming into your life and success. And the Four of Wands here, this is a huge celebration. It's not something small. It's something big, Pisces, that you, that you will be celebrating. And it has to do with something that you're manifesting, something that you've manifested. You're about to cross over the finish line. And a great celebration here with the Four of Wands. And then we have the Death card. Here again. Why is death here? Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. I'm seeing you here with the Four of Swords. You're you're um, contemplating something, and this is taking control with the the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries, but this is you being in control, in charge. You're you are so in control, Pisces, of everything, but there's still an energy here with the Nine of Swords. 
where there is some worry here about something. And this something, whatever it means to you, it could be, um, we have the nine of wands here. So this is the wounded warrior. This is you fighting for something. It's been a long battle. For someone, it has something to do with work, where you keep working and working, and there's all of these hands. It's like you can't you can't catch up. You keep working and working. This battle is almost finished with the Nine of Wands. But keep going, don't give up, keep going, be persistent with this, you're almost there. <coughs> with the Nine of Wands, this is, you have, you beat a lot of victories. And I see like one more huge thing that you need to do, but you're almost there. There's one more huge battle that needs to be fought here. And we have the Two of Wands, so this is you choosing to go down a new path, a new direction. Yeah, I'm seeing you, you're, you're making it over a huge milestone here, but I feel like there's one more thing that needs to be done. This is you holding your world in your hands, and something has come to an end here. With the death card because you're you're reaching the end you're reaching the end of the road and you're at a crossroads right in front of you this is your rebirth which way do you want to go and I'm seeing you moving towards your happiness why is the ten of cups here This Ten of Cups that we're clarifying, this is this is everything. This is happy home, happy family. Um, everything's feeling great. But there's a stuck energy here on something where I feel like you're closed off and you're not making a decision. You're too much up in your head and you need to make a decision, Pisces. Because you're you're walking down a whole new path now. A whole new path. And so you need to be clear as to what what hap what this happiness is for you. But I also see new love coming into your life. Someone very, very nice looking, someone very fiery, someone fun to be around. So we have the two of wands again. I I feel like there's something about new love where you could feel kind of closed off to it. So that's why we have the two of wands again. Are you going to take this direction? Because there is someone new coming into your life. Why is the two of wands here? The fool. The Nine of Swords. Yeah. You're very, very guarded up as to who you're going to give this cup of love to that you're holding in your hands here, Pisces. Eight of Cups. 
because you've had to walk away from so much in the past that has caused so much pain, so much heartbreak, that I'm seeing you here guarding your heart, defensive and guarded. And so when it comes to this new love coming into your life, I'm seeing you very much up in your head here as to whether you want to take this leap of faith with this person or not. Because there's a very defensive energy here when it comes to this, this new love coming into your life. Okay. Now, if you have a particular person on your mind while you're watching this, I'm going to see what this person wants to say to you. I'm just going to shuffle one time. Okay, this first energy is Pisces energy. If you're dealing with a Pisces, or this could simply be your energy showing up here, Pisces. But this is Pisces energy. In that moment, I didn't care. Okay, Cancer. I hope you're happy for me. Scorpio. I never used to look at you in that way. Aries, I focused on you instead of my pain. Leo, I pretend you don't mean that much and I've been struggling. This is Leo energy. Sagittarius, I do wish you well. Aquarius, I regret lying to you. Libra, I want to tell you so much, Gemini, just being near you is intoxicating, Taurus, I hope I will see you again sometime, Virgo, I want to feel that way again, and Capricorn, I left you before you could leave me. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I wish I had treated you better. Okay, and then let me get your Moonology cards for advice, Pisces. Advice for Pisces Spirits. We have Surrender to the Divine. And Don't Let Pride Get in Your Way. Your Commitment is Being Tested. And on the bottom of the deck, luck is on your side. Okay, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you today. I hope they help. Thank you so much for being here with me, Pisces. And I send you lots of love and light. Namaste.